All right, what we're going to do in this tutorial is practice solving two-step equations. Now, we're going to do two examples, and the two examples are very similar to each other, but we have to do each one of them slightly different. If we take a look at the first example, notice that one of the steps involved in the equation has a division operation, as does this one too. But notice with this equation right here, we have a difference at the top, and then we're taking that entire difference and then dividing by two. But over here, we don't have a subtraction problem as the complete numerator. We have a negative integer here, and then after that, we're adding a fraction. So we have to deal with each one of these slightly different. Now, when you have an entire difference or a sum as a numerator, what I like to do is put parentheses around the entire quantity like this. And because we're dividing by two, we take what we're dividing by or the denominator and then write it as a numerator. Now, what that allows us to do is this. It allows us to cancel out this number right here on the left-hand side of the equation. So it's kind of like this. A whole number like two can be written as a fraction. So that's like two over one. So basically, we're taking this entire quantity, which is a fraction, and multiplying it by two over one, which allows us to cancel out that denominator. And then we take the other side of our equation, and we multiply by that same number. So we just take that denominator, write it at the top so it cancels on the left, and then multiply it on the right-hand side. And negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. Now because we canceled out this 2, that leaves us with k minus 10 on the left-hand side of our equation. And then we just do the inverse of minus 10, which is to add 10. And what we do on the left, of course, you've heard that a million times, we have to do on the right-hand side. Okay, so on the right-hand side now, we have negative 14 and positive 10, which results in negative 4. On the left-hand side, opposite integers result in 0. And k plus or minus 0 is just k. So we just have k equals 4. I'm sorry, I should have said k equals negative 4. Now on the right-hand side, we have to approach this one a little bit differently. So if you have a number separate than your fraction, you've got to start by doing the inverse of that integer first. So we're going to do the opposite of minus 9, which is plus 9. So we have to add 9 on the right-hand side of our equation. Negative 7 and positive 9 results in positive 2. These opposite integers cancel on the left, leaving us with n divided by 4. And now what we do is we multiply both sides by 4 because the inverse of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. Now we really only have to write that denominator as a numerator so they can cancel out. But keep in mind, it's really like multiplying 4 over 1, but we do not have to write that one at the bottom. So we cancel out the 4s. That leaves us with n. And on the right-hand side, we have 2 times 4 which is equal to positive 8. And of course, if we want to verify that these answers are correct, we would plug these integers in to the variable into the original equation. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. So up here we have k minus 10, so we have to replace this k with negative 4. So negative 4 minus 10, and then we have to divide by 2, and that should be equal to negative 7. Negative 4, negative 10 is negative 14, and negative 14 divided by 2 is in fact negative 7. So that one does check out. Now over here we had the equation negative 9 plus n over 4, and n we came up with is equal to 8. So we're going to write 8 over 4 is equal to negative 7. Now, 8 over 4 can be simplified to 2, so basically we have the equation negative 9 plus 2, which is equal to negative 7, so that equation checks out as well.